Hello everybody, happy Saturday. How are you all doing today? I hope you all are well. So I have here this um, cute little folio that I uh, viewed on, I think it was Sept Septeria, Septeria, Septeria 18, I think is what it's called. And I just absolutely fell in love with it. I thought it was so adorable. So a little folio and um, comes with a little hidden paper clip at the top. And here's the first page has a little tuck spot there. And then we have a middle page added on. And that is a tuck spot some vellum and another tuck spot on the back and then we have another tuck spot here and then we have this whole page that you can decorate and at the top is a tag holder or a journal card holder and then we have the back is that not the cutest thing now i had this um, she made this also like this, and I think she did it with Velcro. She held it closed with Velcro. I'm not sure how I want it closing yet, so I left it without the closure. But um, other than that, um, I thought I would try to replicate this and show you how it's done. I only saw it yesterday, and I, and I saw it, um, you know, watched it and then made this one so let's see if we can replicate it and do it again but I thought this was absolutely adorable so let's see what we can do I took this whoops I took this pay this piece of paper here and um I think it's probably better if it's non-directional and I've got to cut off the little branding strip at the top here so I'm going to actually I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and cut this all the way down we need to take your 12 by 12 piece sheet of paper I have it double sided and cut it down to 10 and a half so that's the first thing and I'll get the Brandon strip do I have it there it is <laughs> lost it already. I'll get the Brandon strip cut off at the same time. So 10 and a half. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and trim it down anyway. So because we do need this piece also. Okay. So just took off the branding strip and I will keep that. I do use those. So you're end, you end up with this little piece, which is about an inch and a half. So I'm gonna set this aside. Keep this. Now we're going to need our scoreboard. If you don't have a scoreboard, of course, you can use your ruler and a, a, a stylus or, um, something that's somewhat like a stylist and just use your ruler and just go down the side wherever you want to score it. Excuse me. So, um, oh, after my little scoring tool here. Okay, so we're going to start on the 12 inch length. So put it in so it's 12 inches and we're going to score at six. So score at six, okay. Then we're gonna turn it on the 10 inch, 10 and a half inch side, and we're going, going to score at six again. And that's all we need to do with the scoring. Okay, so now we have you can see I'm turning it over because you can see it better on this side okay so we have our scoring um, and we have the uh, mark right in the middle here and what we have here is the larger 
size on this end and the smaller size on this end, even though we scored at six both ways. So what we're going to do is cut this line in the middle here, this six inch score, right down just to where it crosses each other, right to the middle there. So take your scissors, try to cut as straight as you can. Maybe a cutting board will help also. And right to the middle score there. Now this is where I can get a little bit confused, so bear with me. Okay, so we are going to um, fold our papers right in half. So we're going to take it this way, large size, small size, and the um, middle six inch, and we're going to fold our paper right in half. I'm gonna burnish that down. Okay. So then we're going to take this, this top piece, the larger top piece on this side, and we're going to fold it over on the score mark. And I try to make sure that it folds straight because even though we score it, sometimes it doesn't straighten itself out. Plus, um, you know, plus cutting. I don't cut too straight either. So we're gonna uh, burnish it right down here on the score mark. So it's gonna look like this, okay? So we folded this top half over. Now we're going to fold this piece back on itself and we're going to make it so it's about maybe a half inch left over here. And just try to straighten it and fold it right back on itself like so. And we're gonna burnish that down like that. So we have a little little um, edge right here. And I can see right now I need already need to trim it just a little. Try to straighten it out there. Okay. So now we have this piece left. So we're going to fold this piece over. And burnish that down. And then we're going to, what we're going to do is fold it this way, about the same length away as the uh, first fold that we made. So I'm gonna to try to get it straight to where I like it. And take about the same amount of space that I did before and burnish that right down. Actually, you don't need to burnish it down here because we're going to take this and fold it back the other way. Then we will burnish it down. So there you have your little steps on the side here, like so. Isn't that adorable? I love it. Okay, so now this here is um, going to be your pocket. So I'm going to make a little thumb hole right here, your tuck, your tuck spot, okay. And this side here is going to be your tuck spot. Make a hole there, okay. So we have our two tucks. I'm gonna turn this page over and this is going to be your um, tag holder. So I'm going to put a thumb hole right here. Like so. So we have our thumb holes in. Now at this point, and I'll show you on this one, 
you may or may not want to add this page here. This is an extra page that was added in. So you can go ahead and glue this all down the way you want it like this, or you can add your little extra page in here with the vellum. So I'm going to add the vellum page. So our extra strip that we cut off, we're gonna cut this in half at six inches. I so need a bigger desk. Okay, so we're gonna cut this at six. And this is what we're going to use to attach our middle vellum. You can, of course, have it on either side that you want. And while we're at it, I'm going to cut this piece, the leftover piece, down to three. Cut it right in half again at three. So this will be your, this will be your, um, hidden paper clip and this will be your closure. So economical, we use the whole piece of 12 by 12 paper. So this here, depending on um, where you want to, or how you want to put it, we need to, like I'm going this way, so I need to put a little, um, four mark right at about a quarter of an inch on this side so I'm going to line this right up here on my scoreboard and I'm going to score at a quarter of an inch so that's all we need that for and then I am just going to go ahead and miter the corners here like so then we are going to fold over on our score mark and this little end here is going to glue right in here in this area area here so that's going to glue right there. And that will be for our little page. So we're going to go ahead and glue that down. Just put glue right on the little edge here. And glue that. little bit on the fold and I just pick this right up like this slide that right underneath push it all the way to the end and turn it over to make sure that it closes okay burnish that right down and there you have your little piece to add your vellum to so I think at this point we can go ahead and glue these down. We want to just uh, also, which I didn't do last time, but you can also uh, figure out if you want to round the corners, which I think I will this time on my little um, tuck spots. I always like to have some little, a little bit of roundness to them okay and we can go ahead and glue the ends whoops right down just on either side glue that down
and then we can go ahead and glue this one down. I always have to concentrate when I'm um, putting my glue down because I cannot go in a straight line. Here we go. Got that. Then what we need to do is glue this piece down and I just glue right next to this uh, hold line right on this side and right on the other side and then this can fold right back up and we can burnish that right down Burnish my little end down here. Now, as you can see, this gets a little thick right along this edge right here because of adding the extra page right here. This is one reason why she didn't add on the other side of this. She added a book page instead of the uh, another piece of cardstock, which is what she explained is because it, she didn't want it to be so thick right there. So she added, she thought the book page uh, would be a better choice. And she, um, she also liked the way when it was put together, you saw a little bit of the book page on the other side. And I like that idea too, so I copied the same thing, but you know, you could, if you wanted to, put another piece of the uh, cardstock on the other side. So that was the reason for the book page. So we are going to take a piece of vellum and I cut it down. I just used my scissors. I mean, <laughs> no, I did not use my scissors. I used my pencil and just marked where I wanted it cut. And let's see, would I go out maybe about three and a half inches? So I will cut down about, did I say, yeah, about three, three and a half. Then I'll use my cutter to trim this. I would not dare do it with my cutting skills with scissors. And I mark that. <laughs> it's hard to see. So I'm going to trim this down. And trim this side down. If I can see where I marked it. And there's my piece of vellum. And then what I did with this was just lay it down right next to the score line. And then took my glue, and I'm using art glitter glue, and just went down the side here. Actually, you can get your glue on before you line it up. But. And then I went right along next to the score line at the bottom and then right down this side. Then I lined up my paper where I wanted it. And folded this right over onto it. 
easiest way for me. You guys might have a, a better way to do it, but I thought it was easy for me to do it that way. Okay, so then we have this side that needs a piece of book page. And um, now this book page that I have here is quite a sturdy book page. That's why I chose it. But um, I started out with this one and it was really thin, so I didn't really dare. This was like a dictionary page. I didn't think that it would hold up as well. So I went for the a um, uh, little bit wider, I mean, a little bit sturdier book page. So I'm just going to set this down and I want it to uh, come just a little bit above So it shows, I think just beyond that word right there would be good. So let me cut it first and then I'll tell you what the length is. I always lose my mark from the table to the cutting place. I always lose my mark. Let's see how we did. Yep, that's fine. So I cut mine at in between <laughs> an inch and a quarter and an uh, and an, a little over an inch and a quarter. Best way to do it. So I'm going to lay this right here like I did the other one. And I am going to glue right along the end here and that will create two more pockets for us to use and right along the end lay it where you want it and then fold it over. And I don't want it crooked. Okay, that's better. That's better. I'm going to trim just a little piece off the top here. I can get to it. There we go. I'll trim that more later. When I can take my glasses off and put, put it up to my nose, then I'll trim it <laughs> better. I've got to go to my doctor, my eye doctor again, and get my, uh, my eye prescription re-looked at because, again, still, I cannot see a thing. Burnish this down a little better. It does get real thick right there. Okay, so now we have our little tuck spots, our little um, add-on vellum. We got the little tuck spots here, 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 and here. I love it. Okay, so now we need to make our little um, hidden paper clip. So we take one of the little pieces that we have left over and we're just going to go ahead and fold that right in half. Like so. And I did use like a, a tiny with my little there it is. I used like a tiny um, size paper clip, not a tiny, but I mean a small size paper clip. 
Oh, I'm not sure what the size is, but I know they're tiny. So this this uh, size is what I used. Okay, so we've got it folded in half. We need a little hole punch. And on either side of the uh, top, or I should say the bottom of the fold on either side that you choose, we need to put just a little half, a half circle in there, like so. And then what we do is have our paper clip and we have the little short end and the long end. We want it so the short end is on the inside, like so, and that fits right down into the hole. Okay, and then what I did here was just put some, I put a piece of, I don't even know if I have it now. I could use the pink, I guess. I measured a little bit of lace and cut two pieces. Oops, can't cut with a hole punch. So I just cut the two pieces of lace to add to the uh, ends. So I had those ready. Then we want to take our, I used um, Fabri-Tac for this to close up my, to close up my, uh, <laughs> oh my goodness, my paper clip there. So I just went ahead and glued the whole, the whole area where our paper clip is. And then before I stuck it together, I put my little pieces of lace where I wanted them. Like so. Ah, sticky. Once you touch it, you stick right to it. Trying to straighten this out a little here. Okay. Then we can just close that right up and squish those laces right down. Hold that just a bit to let it dry. Always have a little trimming to do. Now at this point, um, the lady on the uh, show, oh, I just saw the dogs out there. Um, she did the little fishtail on the other end, but I didn't think that I, um, it was very, very uh, small and unnoticeable to me. So I didn't bother. So I just left it, uh, I just left it flat on the bottom. I didn't do the little fishtail thing. So anyway, that is our little hidden paper clip that you can clip right up there at the top. And um, of course, uh, you can decorate it. With this one, I just put a little bit of cheesecloth, um, a little bit of the same, uh, the same lace that I used at the bottom there, and uh, a little butterfly and some garnish on the butterfly. And that was that. Turned out cute, I thought. So, um, you know, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. You can go ahead and decorate up as much or as little as you would like. i got to put my, well, so this here, um, what we do is put it, 
do it on this side so you can see it better. Put it where you want it on your, um, where you might want to have it on your folio and then just go ahead and bend the end right over and then all you have to do is glue it down on this side. I'm not going to do it yet because I need to figure out how I want to make my closures. Like I said, I think she used vellum. Uh, vellum. Okay. Uh, the other stuff there. The stuff that sticks. <laughs> I can't think of anything. My words are just not coming today. Velcro. Not vellum, Velcro. Sorry about that. And I just uh, nipped the corners. You could round the corners or nip the corners. And um, I know I want, I might use the pink side actually on this one. I like that. I know I wanted to use it to clo for a closure, but I don't know how I want to, um, how I want to put it together. Um, I was looking at the dogs next door. They're in a fenced in area. They're little pit bulls. And um, this morning when I got up to have my coffee, I had, uh, of course, my dogs went crazy when they went out to go potty. And um, there was a baby deer stuck in the fence. Oh, there's mama out there right now looking. Oh, it's mama deer. I hope she's still not looking for her baby. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Squirrel. Um, so uh, she was stuck in the fence and um, the baby was and um, couldn't get out and it kept uh, you know knocking against the fence and everything trying to jump over it and oh I felt so bad so I called my husband I woke him up this was like early in the morning about seven and told him there's a baby deer stuck in the fence next door and I was so afraid that they were gonna let their pit bulls out they have two of them next door I was so afraid she was gonna bring her pit bulls out and let them loose and the poor baby would be stuck in the fence with the pit bulls that would not be a good thing so I called my husband and had him come and he walked into the fence I thought that the fence uh, door was closed but it wasn't it's just that she couldn't find her way back out so he went in and started walking around and of course scared her and she got all you know jumpy and everything and was running away from him and eventually finally found the door and got through it so thank goodness and mama dear afterwards walked right up behind my husband um the baby deer had gone opposite of mama deer ran opposite and she um was following my husband right you know right behind him when he was coming back to the house so but she's a good she's a good mama anyway <laughs> thought i just had to tell you that because i saw the the little pities out door next door anyway i'm glad she's out but i hope she finds her mama goodness all right back to <laughs> back to what we were doing anyway um this is uh this is what we did um i absolutely love these things uh you go ahead and decorate how you want i hope you gave it a try i hope you um make the whole thing with the little clip and everything and um I hope I explained it well enough for you. Um, I got a little bit confused uh, be when I was trying to listen to it or trying to make it, but I think, I hope I explained it to you okay. So other than that, I think I am done for the day. Uh, I gotta get ready. My granddaughter will be coming soon for me to watch, babysit for the weekend. So you guys have a wonderful blessed day. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, new videos will pop up for you. And um, I hope you all have a wonderful blessed weekend. And I will hopefully, if everything turns out okay, see you again Monday. You guys have a wonderful weekend. God bless you all. Bye-bye.